covering news from around the world. Your accurate, dependable, and exclusive television news source. WBJU TV News. Good afternoon. I'm Michaela Howard. Here's the latest news. President Barack Obama's outreach to Capitol Hill gets underway tomorrow when he meets with congressional leaders at the White House. But yesterday, Obama defended his policies and threatened to act on his own immigration reform by the end of the year if Congress does not take action. In January, Republicans take control of the Senate and gain a tighter grip on the House. And now for a look at the weather. And over here on the East Coast, it's mostly sunny with warmer weathers, I mean, temperatures. And then, um, and then 72 degrees down here in Dallas, which is quite cold for there, I guess. And then uh, 55 up here in that, that place. And, uh, oh, wait, okay. And then it's uh, getting a little cloudy, I guess, over here. <laughs> in uh, California, which could be good, they might get some rain. And then, yeah, it's warm over here. And after our three day oh, <laughs> now, oh, wait, okay. <laughs> Here's our uh, three day forecast. Yeah, Friday first. It's gonna be 63 degrees and sunny on Friday, and uh, rainy and 55 on Saturday. And then on Sunday, it could be stormy again and 49 degrees. And now it's time for sports. And now for a look at sports. I'm Kevin LeBlanc. Wide receiver Calvin Johnson is expected to return after this week after missing the Detroit Lions' last three games with an ankle injury. Johnson is back to his normal practice routine and will play Sunday when the Lions host the Miami Dolphins. The Lions won all three games Johnson missed, but they haven't gained more than 400 yards since week one. Here's a look at last night's NBA scores. The Warriors smashed the Clippers, the Spurs barely eked by the Hawks, and it looks like the Bulls beat the Bucks on the road. That's all for sports. Now back to our news anchor, Michaela. A Western New York homeowner says she awoke to find an unwelcome visitor in her living room, a deer. Wyoming County Sheriff Deputy Matthew Sage says that the young buck had crashed through a window and was standing near a couch when he arrived at the rural Strikerville home Monday morning. Before Sage could get into, inside the house, the deer jumped out through another window and trotted off into the woods. He says the animal appeared to be uninjured. Thanks for watching WBJU News. Have a great day.